So, I stayed up to watch the PlayStation experience. Uh, and one game stuck out the most, besides FF7 Remake, obviously. We're not going to talk about that, because I already talked about it in like a long last video. But, essentially, this game is what makes me feel really excited for PlayStation VR. And not because of just how crazy it sounds, but just how fun it looks. It looks like the perfect party game. And like, you, I look at party games now as sort of like, hey, I don't really have a lot of friends to play with because I'm, you know, too busy playing some MMOs or Xenoblade at this point. But essentially, the game is called 100 foot or 100 feet? I think it's 100 foot. Robot Golf. And this one caught me and my friends off in... Caught us off guard. We were expecting, uh, by that time we were watching the PlayStation conference, our current mood was bored shitless. There wasn't really much going on. And then this game comes along and it brings with it some of the most f funniest gen... Like, it's just fun to look at. And the whole concept behind it is just perfect. And what it is, is essentially, uh, you're a giant robot, like, uh, let's say, Evangelion-style robot, maybe Gundam, I think more Evangelion in terms of design, and you're playing golf, and instead of just, you know, simple golf where you teleport the thing, you have to run and destroy the city to get to your ball, and I'm assuming from that, your the buildings you crush down become your obstacles as well, and if you're playing with friends or you're playing against someone else, it's all in real time, so it's a pseudo sort of race, and it kind of like it kind of reminds me of Rocket League. How Rocket League took a game of soccer or football, wherever you are, uh, wherever you may be situated, and put rocket cars on it, and it was just enough to make it exciting. This is what is that? This is this is what exactly is trying to make golf. It's trying to make golf exciting. And the fact is that a little sneak beats at the end had some Evangelion references, some anime references, and it really, it really nails in the idea that these guys know what they're doing. They understand the jokes. They understand what people are excited for. And I am genuinely excited. Now, how does this fit into the entire sort of PlayStation VR sort of pipeline of what I'm expecting? Uh... I'm expecting great things, and it's games like this, in which if if you're if it's VR and you're in the robot's head or you're outside, you're taking a look from a bird's eye view. Maybe you're the plane, you're seeing the crazy destruction that your robot's causing. I think that's really exciting venture for VR because sure, it's a gimmick. It's like beyond that, but like if this was bundled with the VR next year, this could be the Wii Sports or the Wii. Wii Sports essentially of the VR because it's such a brilliant simple concept done well and I really hope that Sony supports this because it's such a clever idea of using such simple things. Sure that is not the most pretty looking game but it doesn't have to be it just looks fun and the environments can uh, be added in later that kind of stuff so I think I'm, ex I'm excited for this game I think I'm I can't wait like for VR honestly I think games like this just really prove that the VR like Sony's really pushing VR, like holy crap, they're really pushing it. And here we are. So we're waiting for this game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's you know I'm gonna push it as much as this content as I can. It's really been a long time since I've done any videos, but I'm back for now at least. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And Hopefully you guys have a good day. Quick 51 out.